You're watching KCAL 9 News at 2. There's been kind of a flip-flop in the housing market recently. These days, it seems that buying a home may actually beat renting. Real estate expert Chad Rogers joins us now to explain why. Welcome. We'd love Thank to have you, you on. Me. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. All right, so let's talk about this flip-flop here. Okay, let's talk about it. The factors that are making buying more enticing than renting, number one, rent prices are going up and up and up. People still are forced to rent because they can't afford to buy a home. Number two, you have appreciation. Appreciation is key. Supply is down, demand is high, so that's keeping prices up. Number two, interest rates are at historic lows. They're at three and a half percent, as opposed to last year, they were at four and a half percent. Wow. So you have to have good credit to get that, but that's really good to know. And then lastly, tax benefits. You get to write off your you know, mortgage interest and property taxes. So that makes buying more enticing than renting. Hopefully they don't get rid of that deduction, that mortgage <laughs> deduction. <laughs> exactly. Depends on how uh, things go in Washington. From your mouth to God's ear, <laughs> I like to say. <laughs> People, uh, the uh, market has turned around. You say and it's actually cheaper than in the long run to, to rent them than yeah, that's a, buy. that's a great question. Trulia.com, which you probably have I'm heard about, website, rent, I'm sorry. one of the biggest um, real estate websites nationally online, they just did a report, and the report is great. They're saying that in Los Angeles, if you purchase, then buy, you're basically saving 32%, which amounts to $641 a month of savings, which if you multiply that by 12 months, that's over $7,000 a year. And for seven years, it's about 49 grand. I'm sure you, you can oh figure gosh. out a few things to do with 49,000. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, what are you seeing now out there as people go looking for houses? Are there multiple offers now? Well, there's no inventory. I mean, when property comes up and it's priced right, it's going to sell like that. So if what do you suggest right. then in that I case? I suggest call me and I'll <laughs> steer you in the right direction. Chad Rogers will take care of you. If it's priced <laughs> right. You know, a lot of people who are selling their houses, though, I, I think are stuck with that old thought of what it used to be worth. And you say it's got to be priced right, though. Oh, it has to be priced right. You see a lot of sellers still in the clouds with what they think their property is worth. Right. A lot of times they can't sell because they're in their properties too deep. So, you know, they just have to work with real estate experts like myself and advisors that could guide them in the right direction. But back to this Trulia report, to, to make that, um, that deal and be able to buy and, you know, make it worth 32% cheaper than renting, you need to qualify for a few things. Right. You need to um, be able to put down 20%. You need to. That's tough for a lot of folks. Of course it is. You need to be able to put down, th uh, you, you need to get an interest rate of 3.5%. You have to uh, deduct your taxes in a 25% uh, tax bracket or higher. You need to itemize those deductions, so property taxes, mortgage interest, and you have to stay in your property for at least seven years so you could spread the costs out, you know, like maintenance, insurance, buyers and sellers closing costs, etc. Okay, so let's talk about maybe a first-time home buyer who might not have that 20%. Is there still a chance for them out there? Yeah, there's a lot of people out there like that, and my heart does go out to them, and that's why I like to come in and give my expert advice to help them out. So my best advice to them is there is light at the end of the tunnel. Rent cheap. You don't have to live in a mansion. Rent what you could afford. Cut back. You don't need to go to five dinners a week. Maybe you could go to two. Cut you know, a few vacations out of the year. Save where you can. Get your credit up to par because a lot of people are still hurting from the mess that everyone got in over the last seven years. And as soon as you could do that, buy. Because I want to see everyone take advantage of the great interest rates and prices before they go up and up and up. And should we still go into a home anticipating appreciation or should we get into a home because mm. it's our home? Um, yes. I, uh, yes to both of those questions. But there is going to be appreciation. Uh, truly in their report, uh, said that um, they're factoring 2% a year, which I feel is, is pretty conservative, and I agree with that. But obviously, if you fall in love with a house, buy it, as long as it's priced right. Priced right. And what should you ask, just very quickly, before you buy this home? What is the most important thing that you would tell people to ask? Uh, the, the most important thing is, uh, how soon do you want to leave? Because I want to move <laughs> into it. <laughs> there you 
you go. Makes right. sense to me. Thank yes. you so much. Oh, you're welcome. And all I have to say is happy house hunting. Thank there you. you. Thank you. Well, for it. more information, just head to our website, kcal9.com, and click on Scene on TV. Good advice. Coming up tomorrow here at 2 o'clock, we'll be joined by our Courage Girl.